Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be covering the 16th Isanzo dev blog. So today's dev blog was all about the second part of the Grisia map, showcasing the objectives on the other side of the Isanzo river, and giving us a complete flyover of the map with some normal gameplay footage mixed in. So first, I want to say that this flyover and all flyovers in general are amazing ways to showcase all the completed content before release, because this gives us a real idea of what the map is going to look like. Those first two objectives are now visible in much greater detail than was presented in the last one, so you can see the first set of trenches, as well as the map's progression through the graveyard and to the paper factory. The terrain design, the overall push routes, and the prop detailing all look amazing, and I can't wait to see what else the game has to offer in terms of map design. But now, to pick up where we left off last time, we can cross the Isanzo River to get through to the heart of the city. So directly across the river, the first thing the Italians are going to need to push through is a long line of Austro-Hungarian trenches. In the real world, this was a point of very strong resistance that was only overrun due to the defender's lack of manpower and resources. However, that won't be much of a limiting factor when defenders can respawn, so we'll have to see how easy it will be to take. Once past these trenches, we get into the real gritty areas of the city streets. The main objectives in this area are a large park that will have a sabotage objective. This means there will be a large artillery piece that the Italians will need to eliminate with explosives. And once that objective is taken, it cannot be recaptured by the Austro-Hungarians. The fighting along these streets will be very interesting to me, as this will be the first time that the World War I game series has ever had urban combat to this kind of scale. My biggest curiosity is how many of these buildings will actually be able to enter and how difficult it will be for the Italians to push through if enemies are running between windows and are on the rooftops while they are down in the open. The next major objective and what I believe to be the final objective based on this dev blog, although it's not explicitly stated, is the train station. We can see here that this has a fully enterable interior and the outer yard has some hectic large cover pieces with the train cars creating choke points. This can be seen in action with this little gif of the Italian firing what I think is a Glissenti 1910, although I could be wrong with this by only getting the back and ADS profile, so if you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up Garizia. Next week's dev blog will be another close look into the class system, which I hope will have some gameplay to go along with, and maybe even another trailer as we inch closer to the release this summer. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.